What's up, guys? Cat here, and we're back to Sanitarium. And you know what I realized? What I found out? We're only halfway through the game, so I need to step up. I need to step up these episodes because I want to finish it, and I don't want this to go on, like, all year. So, we're going to try to crank these out. Please, I've had enough of the circus. Just a child. Could it have died here? I don't know. Or gargoyle. I feel like they're always watching me. That's a nasty drop. And now we're in the laboratory. The laboratory. And we're as Max again. This gate is shut tight. Could be so important inside. Why does there always have to be really loud background noise to make the voices really hard to hear? This gate is shut tight. Whoever built this place loved ominous stone figures. Yep. Or a gargoyle. I feel like they're always watching me. This is a nice looking game. looking fellow. Where do I know him from? Uh-oh. Impressive, isn't it? Yes. The artist really captured his strength in this pose. I'd introduce you to him, but he's, um, visiting my mother. She's been feeling run down lately, so my father thought it best that she get some rest at the clinic. I guess we should be going. We don't, uh... Jacob! I wasn't expecting you. I assumed with finals coming up next week that you'd be spending your time in the library. Instead, I find you here, wasting valuable time. I've more than prepared for the finals, Father. You needn't be concerned. I'll do just fine. You'll do just fine? Fine. Is that your goal? I thought I taught you better than that. Anyone can do fine. I don't want you to be just like every other student that medical school turns out. Remain focused on what is important, Jacob. Damn. Is that Matt Max standing next to Jacob? Look at huh. A pipe valve. Strange thing to hide behind a painting. All right, I turned it. looking fellow? Where do I know him from? From a radio. I wonder if I can get any news from the outside world. Today the world mourns as children who successfully responded to the hope drug begin to die. Well that's nice. There's two things on the table. This clock go. is running counterclockwise. The time is one o'clock and the alarm is set to eight. Okay. Counterclockwise. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, the other way. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five hours between one and eight. I just looked up at my clock. <laughs> Like quite a fall. What a strange device. I wonder what it controls. What a strange device. Doesn't seem to be working. It must need power first. I turned that valve. There's a hexagonal hole at this pipe junction. Wait, wait a minute. I've got scan it. There's 
didn't realize I took it. Pipe valve. Turn it. That accomplished anything. It seems that the rotating electromagnet is linked to the stone weight, but what is the machine's purpose? Oh, that took so long. Oh, that took so long. That took far too long. Oh my god. It looks like a slaughterhouse. It does. Oh, jeez. Here, let me help you. God, such an idiot. Patience is the key, Max. Never let the problem get the better of you. You know, I wasn't always this brilliant. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, I used to botch my lab tests constantly. But I stuck with it and learned from my mistakes. You're my brightest student, Max. And you have the most potential out of all your classmates. Now, come on, we still have a lot of work to do. Right. Yep, Max, you were an asshole. This was your lab. You and Jacob. Oh. oh my god, you can touch everything. Let's get to touching. How could anyone describe such atrocities so, so clinically? Oh god. It's terrible. How could anyone describe such atrocities so, so clinically? Yuck! Oh god, it's terrible! Who would butcher these people like that? You! You, Maxi Boy. There's blood everywhere! Hmm. The local authorities have become increasingly suspicious of the men here in the United to ensure that my research continues unabated, I must rewrite the locking code for the back lab and move the subject's bodies down to the crematorium before the sheriff arrives for inspection. The chalkboards must also be wiped clean so they contain the encrypted code. Hey, Dr. Morgan, uh, yeah, we looked everywhere, but we ain't been able to find them. What? That's the third time this week. What do you mean? Uh, I mean, maybe... Spare me your insight. I'm not a man cannot vanish into... Huh. Out of here. Too damn old for my purpose. That's where I'm missing patience. I'll find a way to sell it. What about this stuff? Uh, it should be able to clean up here. I mean, before the inspection. I'm uh, aware of it. We'll take care of this mess after we find him. Well, damn. Blood everywhere. Not from here. I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. All right. I search in vain for the elusive solution to this the most intriguing puzzle. Evading me the way a mouse does a cat, the source of insanity remains hidden from me. Darting from flesh to muscle, muscle to bone, and back again to the portrait of the mind, this evil seems always to maintain one step ahead of me. How can I trap what I cannot see? Surely I am close to the source by now. Knowing now how difficult it is to find this hidden monster, I am led to believe that the age of my test subjects may be a factor. 
younger subjects tend to display less evidence of confession. The madness is so entrenched within the aged frames of my older subjects that it is nearly impossible to discern the same tissue from the insane. Okay. What do we do about this? I don't see anything standing out about any of the words. It's not the first of every sentence. Of the eye invading. Darting. From, no. Oh wait. I just touched. Okay, I just keep touching. I'm just touching randomly. Because I don't understand. Maybe it's the first letter. Okay, it is the first letter. I'm trying, let's see. This is the step of me how. I'll check I can't see surely. Maybe now eventually. I will release once. Move from in a I'm confident knowing. I'll just get us to find the monster. Why younger? Um, did I find all of them? I think I found all of them. Okay, um. I don't. My arm's going to sleep. The decoy is. <laughs> okay, I'll come back to that. There's some kind of electronic security system on this door. hidden in this rambling mess. Oh no, another one. Experiments one and two were complete failures. Unexpected complications during my exploration into the brains of the test subjects regrettably cost them their lives. Message hidden in this rambling mess. Shall I venture forth to unravel the mysteries that lurk beneath the mundane flesh? Or turn back in fear of what I can find? At times I feel as though the weight of the world rests upon my very shoulders. I need any sense of direction. I have blindly followed in the footsteps of those who walk with me. Found it, though my intention may have been, I was powerless. Ah. 
So that one's salvation. I have a feeling. This must be confusing to you, even frightening. But this work is going to help so many people. Sick people. People with no hope. No! No! Calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. Those straps can hold a man twice your strength. No! The fuck? What? What's going on? The only good bug is a dead one. Just killed something? That just pooped? Oh my god, oh, it's pooping. This thing has some kind of mechanical harness. Take it. Wearing this harness, perhaps they'll think I'm one of them. It's worth a try. Why am I a monster? But move her sickeningly, bloated, bustling. ID confirmed. Don't die, class. Sector 7. Proceed. The fuck is this shit? This building appears to have served some special function. Don't die, class. Not me. Cyclops. I hope he can help me. This 
path is blocked. The path is... By the Makers! Grimwall! You're Grimwall! But what are you doing here? Why have you returned to us? I thought Gromna had everything under control. Grimwall? Is that my name? I don't remember much. Just waking up in this hive and having to battle a few insectoids. I had to use this strange device that I found on a large one, just to pass their security forces. It's an ID harness. Gron built them for the insectoids since they lost their sight. With that on, you look like another bug to them. That's why they're not swarming all over you. Look, my name is Gravin. We need to talk more. But until the work slows down here. Afterwards, I'm going back to my pod. We can meet there. My pod's globe code is Grenesser. Use it if you need to get in there for anything. Whoa. An insectoid pincher. Edges are sharp. Get it, it's a weapon. Some kind of scanning unit. This monster is also a machine. Who are you? Tick-tock! technician! What is your function? To integrate cybernetic enhancements to the flesh! Who designed these robotics? Grana! Honorable assistant to Her Majesty! I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose operation will I grant you your advance? I am living. Return when you can prove the proper authorization. how they say grap instead of crap. Large hut. Looks like someone's living quarters. A defense mechanism for Grevin's pod. That's right. Renasir. Enter. I wonder if Gravin has any good crystals. And now, our breaking story this evening. During a helicopter sweep in the search for another missing child in a troubled remote community of Warrendale, authorities were startled to discover what appears to be a gigantic insect hive attached to Mount Cytaria, close to the ancient mechanical ruins. Details are sketchy at this point, but some sources have estimated that the visible portion of the hive is only a small part of the greater whole. More details on this breaking story as it develops. In an attempt to halt the infestation of the insect horde that is sweeping across our nation, leading entomologist Gromna will lead a team to infiltrate and examine the ever-growing hive. When asked why he was risking his own life on this mission, Gromna simply replied that he was willing to sacrifice anything to stop the infestation. When he heard the news, President Agris said, Gromna is truly a great man, and we all wish him much success. Today, the nation breathed a collective sigh of relief as word from Gromna finally reached our closest outpost to the hive. Gone for months and presumed dead, it turns out that Gromna's team is not only alive, but they have found a method to slow the horde's infestation. Remaining near the hive, the team will continue their research in an attempt to stop the horde. Hi, Gravin. I guess you're not in. You must be out helping Gromna save the world or something. I just wanted to tell you that I love you, and I miss you. And I really look forward to you coming back to me soon. Goodbye, sweetheart. Go for! <laughs> I have no idea what the hell's going on. Gravin's tools. Take it. A sledgehammer should come in handy. A heater. 
It's alive! The heater! Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you later. Oh, ah, ah, ah.